Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Simpson Comics issue number 9. Now as you know, these comics comics are meant to feel as sequel to episodes or fillisodes. So let's get on the story. It starts off how Bar is like... Entry's cramp. Deserted. Don't know how long Storm's Gang can support my weight. When you think about it, shouldn't Lisa have some lock system in her bedroom? Because she is the smart one. And so Bart's like, I'm in. My mission, should I care to accept it, is to find and destroy evil Lisa Simpson's propaganda. But I must work first. So he starts looking around and sees Lisa's diary just laying around. Yeah, I'm surprised Lisa had, hadn't, you know, got a box or some safe. Or something, and he's like, Ha ha, I have my target in mission lock. And he sees a picture of Bart as a girl saying, This looks nothing like me. And so he destroys the picture, which was meant to be. And so, and so Bart manages to get out just in time and looks at the dolly saying, Let's see what kind of shrivel back male secrets Lisa has in here. Oh man, this is. Doll, where was all the embarrassing details and the thoughts? And let's see. So Bart thinks it's nothing, yet has a look at some comics. Then Homer's like... Then the next day, Homer opens the door and says, Bart, what did you do now? Oh no, Mr. Simpson. I'm not here for Bart. It's Lisa. I like to see her. Lisa, what did she do? Forget to cross a T? Actually, she submitted a fascinating diary to my home publishing company. What? Why that, little Lisa? You get down here right now and apologize for Principal Skinner's. And so they ask what's going on, and turns out that they've made a diary, that made a book about her diary. Yeah, I'm surprised they never asked Lisa or phone called her for anything. And so they meet one of the guys saying. Did someone say contract? Hi, I'm Rhino Nuts, attorney at law. Miss Simpson will have to be very careful to the negotiations. <sighs> what negotiations? Okay, you you got me. We'll we'll sign whatever you want. You are one toughy homie. And so they make a deal where they all are happy. And so Lisa makes it to the book signing and such, and they and Homer starts to see the diary and says, oh, "Man, I can't believe some of this stuff. Here, this has got to be the most messed up family in America. I love it. What are you talking about? Let me see that." And so she makes Lisa come home with her, saying, "Come with me, young lady." Yay. We're going home. And so Marge berates Lisa, saying, Lisa, this diary is filled with insults, scandals, and lies. Yeah, and you say I eat too much, and sometimes I have beer breath. Now, obviously, no one would ever believe that. It's heresy, I tell ya. Actually, I was reading to the horrendous relative affairs Fights in probably to the jaws for her heist of in chapter 12. And Lisa says that she didn't write those parts. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they didn't ask her why. And so... Bart... Bart... Tries to cover up, but... Says, It's a little late for that, but we got to get every one of those books off the shelves... This is all just a horrible mistake. And can you help us, Mr. Hutz? Help you get a rib of Reese's dark right, thereby sacrificing financial gain in the name of a higher moral purpose? Are you kidding me? They drum me out of the bar looking for that. I don't want another copy of that book sold. And so Marge and Homer see a paycheck which I take, and Lisa's thinking about all the success. Homer's like, Oh, come on, Marge, my stomach's growling. Shouldn't we wait for Lisa? 
give me a break. Ever since she cracked the bestseller list, she hasn't drawled out of bed before noon. Now, Bart, don't be jealous. And so Lisa shows up in a beatnik outfit, and they question it, yet try and get the get the waffle. So mainly Lisa checks what's going on and says, Ain't you number one again, Lisa? No! And what the heck is lost in Lena? What? Bunny Woodcock didn't want you to know by Anna Kababel? Wait a second. What a place isn't bad. And so they see up all the books being sold. And yet, Lisa's like, oh, Of course, I was the original everyone can lynch on to a good idea and wearing it a buck on it. Yeah, it's kind of like... It's kind of like having Red Wall with Wall of the Rings or Lord of the Rings with Harry Potter. And so Homer's mother's like, put that away and watch the show, Homer. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Marge. When you said Homer, I thought you were talking to your famous Greek guy. And so there's an unknown person talking, and yet they question it. And yet, yeah, turns out it's actually Bart, where the Simpson family are angry with him, saying, Wait, I figured it, I could make Lisa a star, maybe I deserve a little piece of the action. How could you? Like, why up like that on live TV? They paid me. How much? Homer! I actually like how Homer's like, seriously, how much? And so Homer gets... I mean, Bart gets a phone call from Lionel Arts, but takes the phone down. <laughs> yeah, when they make it to the book signing, Troy McClure makes up a, a lie saying that he was the one who wrote the book, and yet everything gets messed up. So, the Simpson family make it to court, and Lisa said, Lisa and Bart try to testify what happened, but Bart manages to say that he was the one who stole Lisa's diary and published it under her name. And afterwards, everyone... Ber Bart berates everyone, so they manage to take off the whole thing, and says that he won't do it again. And they're like, yay! So afterwards, they're like, hmm, I wonder what's going on? I'm probably nothing, Mum. Let's say, let's go check out all the cool stuff in the Ned Flanders Leftorium. No, I want to see this exclusive me. I can explain. So it turns out Bart made a copy about how he won at court, and was like, why you little? Uh oh. Relax, Homer. I, I blamed it all on Grandpa, and so that's the story. So what I think of issue seven? Not bad for issue nine, but given the fact Lisa would have been a bit more cleverer, and probably would have not taken the fame too hard, I give this a thumbs in the middle. Still right and still okay. So comic reviewer here, signing out.